Valentine, Valentine's Day. In the morning of a new day, Nora surprised her friends with a red rose attached to her chest. They met her with a smile followed by a question, what is the occasion? In the morning of a new day, Nora surprised her friends with a red rose attached to her chest. They met her with a smile followed by a question, what is the occasion? Do not you know that today is the day of love that people celebrate it and exchange the gifts and congratulations in it? It is a day for celebrating love, romance and truthfulness, it is Valentine's Day Nora said, and proudly talked to them about what she saw in a satellite channel. However, Amal, who was listening attentively, asked Nora in astonishment, what is the meaning of Valentine, whereupon Nora replied. It is love in Latin. Amal, who is known by her culture and knowledge, laughed at this answer and said, do you celebrate something you do not know its meaning? Valentine is a Christian priest lived in the 3rd century. She continued talking to them about what happened to this priest and informing them that Valentine's Day is a pure religious ceremony celebrates the memory of a Christian person. Amal felt sorry for some of our daughters who receive whatever said to them and act upon it without any thinking. The Story of Valentine's Day Amal said to her friends, the Catholic Encyclopedia mentioned three narrations about Valentine. However, the well-known of these three narrations is what is mentioned by some books about a priest called Valentine lived in the 3rd century under the rule of the Roman Emperor Claudius II. In February 14, 270 AC this emperor executed this priest who opposed some orders to the Roman Emperor. But, what is the order which is opposed by the priest? Amal continued, the emperor noticed that the priest calls for Christianity, so he ordered him to be arrested. Another narration adds that the emperor noticed that the single men could bear the hardships of war better than those who are married and refused to go to the battlefield. So he ordered that no new marriages are allowed to be held. However, Valentine opposed this order and continued holding marriages in his church, in secret, till his affair became known and he is jailed. In the jail, he became acquainted with the daughter of the jailer who was afflicted with a disease and her father asked the priest to cure her and she was cured, according to the narration. And then he loved her and before his execution he sent to her a card on which he wrote from the sincere, Valentine after she had become Christian along with 46 persons from her relatives. Another narration mentions that when Christianity was spread in Europe, one of the priests noticed Roman ritual in one of the European villages. In this ritual, the young men of the village get gathered every year in the middle of February and write the names of the girls of the village then put the names in a box and every young man withdraw a name of a girl to be his mistress for a year. The young man sends to the girl a card on which he wrote in the name of the Mother God I send to you this card. Whereupon the relation begins between them and continues for a complete year. The priests found that this ritual fosters the Roman creed and discovered that it is difficult to cancel this ritual. So they decided not to change the ritual itself and to change only the phrase that is written by the young men from in the name of the Mother God to in the name of Priest Valentine. Because it is a Christian symbol could help in connecting those young men with Christianity. Another narration says that this Valentine was asked about the Roman gods, Mercury the god of trade, eloquence, deceive and theft, and Jupiter the master of the Roman gods. Whereupon he answered by saying that these are man-made gods while the real god is Jesus the Christ. Allah is far above what the wrongful people attribute to him Amal said. A priest says, our fathers and mothers are astonished because of what happened to this religious holiday where some cards include a picture of a child has two wings and rotates round a heart to which he points in. Arrow, she continued. Do you know to what this symbol refers? It is the Roman god of love, Amal said. And she added that a website has decorated his borders with a heart there is a cross in its middle. The ruling of celebrating Valentine's Day. Majda added to the sayings of Amal what she read about the ruling of celebrating the holidays of the Jews and Christians. She said, in a society is filled with the truthful love and is prevailed by seeking the reward of Allah in the marital relations. Strange habits began to appear at small group of our believer girls because of being influenced by some channels. And because some people have been afflicted with the disease of imitation, and especially imitating those who became masters in the field of industry. The fever of dependence is usually spread quickly, especially between the women who are not well educated. This is a sign of defeatism, therefore, every educated woman has unique identity should beware of it, i.e. imitation, and does not be deceived by this culture. It is narrated on the authority of Abu Waqid that when the Messenger of Allah, prayers and peace of Allah be upon him, but out to Kaibar he passed by a tree to the polytheists are called Dat Anwat. 
i.e. bearer of what are hanged, where they used to hang their weapons. The companion said, O messenger of Allah, make to us dat anwat as they have dat anwat. Whereupon the Prophet, prayers and peace of Allah be upon him, said, Glorified is Allah. This is like the saying of the people of Moses make to us God as they have gods by the one in whose hand is my soul. You will tread the same path that is trodden by those who were before you, reported by Atramidi who said that it is good authentic hadith and al-Albani authenticated it. It is detestable in although the love of imitation is natural in the self. It is detestable in the sharia as long as the imitated person has different creed and thoughts, especially if the imitation is related to the creed, acts of worship, symbols or habits. When the Muslims became weak in this time, their dependency to their enemies got increased and many strange affairs are circulated among them, whether they are types of consumption or behaviors. Among these strange affairs is reviving the memory of the priest Valentine, whose story is mentioned to us by Amal. In fact, whoever revives this memory while believing in it as surly has become a disbeliever, however, if he did not intend believing in it, he would have committed a major sin. Ibn al-Qayyim says, as for giving congratulations because of rituals of disbelief, it is unanimously forbidden. This is like congratulating them for their holidays or fasting by saying happy holiday or blessed holiday or something like that. If the sayer of such phrases did not become disbeliever, he had committed an evil act. It is like congratulating him for prostrating himself for the cross, rather it is graver in the sight of Allah and more detestable than giving congratulations for drinking wine or killing somebody. Many of those who do not value the religion commit this without understanding the evilness of what they do. This is like the one who congratulated a servant for committing a sin or heresy or infidelity and became liable to Allah's wrath and anger, because of that. O oh Majda, what does this have to do with the issue of al wala wa al-Bara? Amal asked. As long as it is among the basis of the belief of the righteous forefathers to believe in al wala wa al-Bara, it is obligatory for everyone who says there is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is the messenger of Allah to fulfill this basis. It is obligatory for the Muslim to love the believers and hate the disbelievers and consider them enemies and be dissimilar to them. Moreover, he should know that doing this brings uncountable benefits while being similar to them brings multiplied evils Majda answered. Also, being similar to them gets their chests opened and makes them pleased. Moreover, being similar to them leads to loving them and having loyalty to them, because when a girl celebrates this holiday and sees Margaret or Hillary celebrates it too, she feels a kind of rest. Allah, the exalted the glorious, said, O you who believe, take not the Jews and the Christians as Aliyah, friends, protectors, helpers, they are but Aliyah of each other. And if any amongst you takes them as Aliyah, then surely he is one of them. Verily, Allah guides not those people who are the Zalaman, polytheists and wrongdoers and unjust, Surat al maida 551. 15. O you who believe in Allah and follow his messenger, do not take the Jews and Christians as your allies and close friends whom you support. The Jews will only support those of their religion, and the Christians will do the same. Both groups will unite against you. Whoever from you takes them as friends is one of them. Allah does not guide those who do wrong by supporting the disbelievers. Almighty, 51. And he Almighty said, You, O Muhammad, prayers and peace of Allah be upon him, will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day, making friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger, Muhammad. Prayers and peace of Allah be upon him, Surat al Mujadilla, 22. 22. O Messenger! You will not find a people believing in Allah and in the Day of Judgment, who love and befriend those who regard Allah and His Messenger as enemies. Even though these enemies of Allah and His Messengers happen to be their fathers, sons, brothers, or tribe members they affiliate themselves to. This is because faith prevents them from befriending the enemies of Allah and His Messenger, and because the connection of faith is greater than all connections. So it is to be given priority at times of conflict. Those who do not befriend the enemies of Allah and his messenger even if they are their own relatives are the ones in whose hearts Allah has established faith such that they do not waver and has strengthened with his proof and light. He will also enter them on the day of judgment into everlasting gardens, under the palaces and trees of which rivers flow, and in which they shall live forever, without its luxuries ever finishing or them ever becoming extinct.
Allah is pleased with them to a degree that he will never be displeased with them afterwards, and they are also pleased with him because of him having given them favors which will never finish. One of which is the ability to see him may he be glorified. They are the party of Allah that fulfills whatever he commands and refrain from the things he does not allow. Know well that indeed, the party of Allah are the ones who will succeed by achieving their objective and remaining safe from their fears in the world and the afterlife. Al-Mujadillah, 22 And he Almighty said, Let not pity withhold you in their case, in a punishment prescribed by Allah, if you believe in Allah and the last day, Surat in Nur 24 2. 2. The unmarried fornicating man and woman flog each one of them with a hundred lashes, and no softness or mercy should affect you. Whereby you do not establish the fixed punishment upon them or you make it lighter for them, if you believe in Allah and the last day. And a group of believers should be present when the fixed punishment is being executed on them, to go to the limit of publicizing their crime, and to deter them and others. And Nur, too. The evils of being similar to them include circulating their rituals and making them widespread. And by this way, the sunnah would be obliterated and mixed with other acts. In fact, there is no new creation in the religion introduced without having some sunnah obliterated. Also, being similar to them makes them appear many, provides victory to their religion and makes it followed. Muslim recites in every raka guide us to the straight way. 6. The way of those on whom you have bestowed your grace, not the way of those who earned your anger, i.e. those who knew the truth. But did not follow it, nor of those who went astray, i.e. those who did not follow the truth out of ignorance and error. Surat al Fatiha 1 6 7. 6. 6 7. The same path as those of your. Show and facilitate for us the right way, the path of submission to you which has no crookedness, and make us firm upon it. The same path as those of your creation whom you have blessed with guidance, such as the prophets, the truthful, martyrs, and the righteous ones. What good companions these people make! Keep us away from the path of those who earned your anger, who knew the truth and did not follow it as was the case with the Israelites. And keep us away from the path of those who lost their way and were not guided, because they were neglectful in seeking the truth and being guided by it as was the case with the Christians. Al-Fatiha, 6-7 Therefore, how could he ask Allah to guide him to the way of the believers and get him away from the way of those who earned Allah's anger and the way of those who went astray? And then he follows their way by his own will? My dear beloved sister may say that she does not share them their belief and say that this plans in the hearts, the feelings of love and pleasure in specific. In fact, this is inattentiveness and shallowness in one's logic. Amal talked about the origin of this holiday and how it became an occasion for exchanging the flowers, even between the gays and lesbians, in the West. Hence, how could a Muslim chaste pure woman accept to be equal to the scum? Celebrating this holiday is not an ordinary thing or passing issue, rather it is one of the shapes of importing the Western values that govern the relation between the man and woman. Also, it is known that they do not acknowledge any limits protect the society from the evils of perversions, as their destroyed social life exposes clearly in these days. In fact, we have alternatives, we thank Allah for them, do not make us need to go beyond those and imitate them. For example, we have the exalted position of the mother whom we could present gifts to her from time to another, and we have the great rank of the fathers, brothers, sisters. Husbands and wives whom we could give presents to them, but in a time other than the time of the celebration of the disbelievers. The gift which expresses the love is good thing, however, its being connected with Christian celebrations and Western customs leads to being influenced by their cultures and the style of their life. Then Majda ended her talking by saying, some dealers feel pleasure for the coming of this occasion because it revives the markets of flowers and visiting cards. In fact, as long as it is not permissible to resemble the disbelievers in their holidays, it is not permissible to support this affair or encourage it by any way. Nora began to remove the rose and said, I need such good company, which guides me to the good and makes me love Allah. And I ask Allah to make this company among those whom he said about them. My love is due to those who love each other for my sake, those who visit each other for my sake and those who support each other for my sake. Authenticated by Al-Albani May Allah make our lives filled with love and truthful cordiality facilitates to us getting in paradise, as wide as the heavens and the earth, is prepared for the pious. And may Allah guard for us our great Islamic identity and set the affairs of the Muslims on the right path. And prayers and peace of Allah be upon our Prophet Muhammad and his family and companions. 
Fatwa of Sheikh Muhammad as Sali Alathaman, may Allah mercy him, in 511-1428-H. Question, celebrating Valentine's Day has become widespread in the recent time, especially between the student girls, although it is one of the holidays of the Christians. They put on red dress and red shoes and exchange red flowers. We hope that you may explain the ruling of celebrating such holiday and tell us your guidance to the Muslims in such issues. May Allah guard and protect you. Answer, peace be upon you. Celebrating Valentine's Day is not permitted for reasons. The first, it is new creation has no origin in the Sharia. The second, it leads to having the heart occupied with these trivial things which are opposite to the guidance of the righteous forefathers, may Allah be pleased with them. Hence, it is not permissible to make in this day any of the rituals of holiday, whether it is food or drink or clothes or exchanging gifts or any other thing. Moreover, the Muslim should feel honored by his religion and do not be time server following each caller. I ask Allah Almighty to protect the Muslims from all the afflictions, whether they are clear or obscure, and I ask him to guide and grant success to us. Sheikh Abdul Wahid Abu Khadija, may Allah preserve him, stated. Valentine's Day, also called St. Valentine's Day, holiday, February 14, when lovers express their affection with greetings and gifts. The holiday has origins in the Roman festival of Lupercalia, held in mid-February. The festival, which celebrated the coming of spring, included fertility rites and the pairing off of women with men by lottery. At the end of the 5th century, Pope Gelasius I replaced Lupercalia with St. Valentine's Day. It came to be celebrated as a day of romance from about the 14th century. Although there were several Christian martyrs named Valentine, the day may have taken its name from a priest who was martyred about 270 CE by the Emperor Claudius II Gothicus. According to legend, the priest signed a letter from your Valentine to his jailer's daughter, whom he had befriended. Ref, Encyclopedia Britannica